visiting St. Peter's Basilica. Technically speaking, the St. Peter's Basilica is located in the Vatican City, yet this gorgeous building is counted among the most beautiful of sites of Rome. You can't miss it during a visit to the Eternal City. In this article you'll find more information on how to visit St. Peter's Basilica, without standing in line, and some fun facts about this famous building. La Basilica Papal di San Pietro in Vaticano is a mouthful, but it suddenly perfectly covers the importance of this church. Not only is this the most famous work of Renaissance architecture, it's also the biggest Christian church in the world. This religious building is what Mecca is for Muslims and is often described as the most important of all churches of Christianity, although that should actually be the Archbishopric of St. John Lateran. It's not surprising that tens of thousands of believers gather here every year to listen to one of the Pope's liturgies. They do this either inside the Basilica or on the breathtaking St. Peter's Square. In 1506 they started construction and it would last until 1626 until this swapper was finally finished. Originally there was a basilica on this location which Constantine I had built in the 4th century, but because of its bad conditions, it was demolished. No less than five different architects worked on the design, of which Michelangelo is the best known. Obviously the construction cost a lot of money, which was obtained by selling indulgences to the people, a paper with which sins were waived so that one could go to heaven instead of hell. On November 18, 1626, after 120 years of building, St. Peter's Basilica was finally completed. The basilica was named after the Apostle Peter, who was one of the founders of Christianity. You can even admire his remains in a tomb. When you arrive at the St. Peter's Square, you'll certainly need some time to take in everything for a moment. Even if you're not a fan of churches, this magnificent design will not leave you unmoved. You'll immediately notice the gigantic dome of the St. Peter's Basilica, with a diameter of 42 meters or 138 feet, which dominates the skyline of Rome. After that you'll really start to notice how incredibly big this building is. To give you an idea, the height is 136.6 meters, 448 feet. The width is 150 meters, 492 feet, and the length is 220 meters, 722 feet. Quite different from your local parish church, I imagine. Of course there is a lot to see, but to make it a little easier for you I've made a list of four things that you shouldn't skip when you're visiting St. Peter's Basilica. The name Bernini might ring a bell thanks to the book The Bernini Mystery by Dan Brown. Bernini helped design the St. Peter's Basilica, but also the famous ball darken inside the church. This sort of canopy is used for the preparation of the sacrament before the Eucharist is celebrated. There are no less than 395 statues in the basilica. Of course I will not list them all here and I won't try to bore you with a whole bunch of names, but if there's one sculpture that you should see, then it is the Pietà by Michelangelo. A beautiful picture of the Madonna with child. In addition to many monumental works of art, you'll also find a somewhat stranger landmark. In a beautifully decorated glass coffin you can admire the body of Pope John XXIII. 38 years after his death. This Pope was taken out of his tomb and exhibited in St. Peter's Basilica. A phenomenon that only two Popes did before him. Some think it's a miracle that he's been so well preserved, but nothing is less true. When Pope John died, he was injected with a special liquid that stores bodies incredibly well. There are more than 100 tombs in the St. Peter's Basilica, of which 91 belong to former Popes. If you want to see the relics of St. Peter, you must be in the crypt. Only since 1979, thanks to Pope John Paul II, you can actually visit this location. It's therefore a place where many pilgrims come together. It's forbidden to take photos here, out of respect, 